Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBird 143. In this tutorial, I will show how to install Ubuntu Server 12.10 in step by step process. Here, I am using VirtualBox. To install Ubuntu Server, first we need to create a virtual machine. Click on New. Next. Come to system, uncheck floppy and come to pointing device, select PS2 mouse, come to storage, remove IDE and choose disk. I am selecting ISO image file. After that come to network. And here, please select Bridge Adapter, come to Advanced, please select Allow All and make sure that cable connected is selected. OK. And after creating virtual machine, now come for the installation process. Click on Start. Select the language, install Ubuntu server, select your language for the installation process, default it is giving English and if you want you can select your language and after that we need to select our country. If your country is not listed in default location options, choose other, enter and select the continent, Asia and here you can find your country. Select that. Installer can automatically detect your keyboard layout by pressing a series of keys. So it is recommended to choose no. and select the keyboard option default it is giving english us okay keyboard layout english us it is loading some additional components required for the installation process And here we need to mention the host name. If you want to configure network manually, press tap, select go back and here please select configure network manually. Now please assign the IP address. Continue and subnet mask. Continue and it is showing the gateway. Continue and select the server addresses. Continue. Now set up your system host name. continue and set up your administrative user in Ubuntu this user replaces the root account and has all root account privileges by adding sudo username for your account 
choose a password for the new user. Re-enter the password. If you used a weak password, the installer will alert you. So please select a strong password for the server, combining upper, lower, numerical and special characters. Continue. If your server contains sensitive, confidential and important data, you can secure all the data by encrypting home directory. But here I recommend it, select no, because it makes easier to do recovery if needed in case corruption of data happens. Okay. Now it will configure clock and time zone. If your network interface card has internet connection, installer will automatically detect your location and set up your correct time zone. Select the partitioning method. I'm selecting default one. Guided use enter disk and set up LVM. And if you want, you can select manual or use entire disk. Select this to partition, enter. And here, please select Yes, to write the changes to disk and configure LVM. It's showing the amount of volume group used for the guided partitioning. Continue. And please select write the changes to disk. It will take few minutes to copy the data for installation process into disk. You can enter your proxy information for internet accessing. If you don't access internet through your proxy, leave it blank and continue. You can configure updates for the server. Default it is giving no automatic updates. If you want, you can install security updates automatically. Here I'm selecting install security updates automatically. Now installer invokes different packages which helps you to install some server packs before finishing. I am choosing open SSH server and LAMP server and Samba file server by pressing spacebar key. Other packs will be installed and configured later. Continue. The selected packages are being installed. Select the new password for the MySQL root user.
repeat the password Please select yes in installer grub bootloader to the master boot record because system itself cannot boot without grub. Yes. Installation process successfully complete. Now we have to reboot our server if you are installing server by using cd or dvd installer disk remove an installer media drive and hit continue to reboot After reboot, please log in with your username. Type the password. Okay, it is successfully added. User. After this, let's check for the network settings. And here it is showing the IP address subnet mask and after this just follow this command Enter the password and here it is showing the primary network interface and we have assigned static IP address subnet mask network broadcast and gateway save this After that, and here come to second line and please remove this and here it is showing the name server and our domain name after that save this and with this, I have successfully completed Ubuntu Server 12.10. I hope this video will help you in your practice. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel. And please subscribe my channel ITBird143 to watch more latest uploaded videos. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.